Mabuhai, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. What if your Filipino wife tells you, I only married you for the money? Then what? Now, this could be hypothetical, could actually, you know, happen, and it may be happening without, you know, the foreigner even knowing it. So, um, this isn't going to be a, you know, marrying for the money type video as much as focusing on uh, the perspective and attitude that a guy should have. I will preface this to say that if a Filipina doesn't include some financial aspect to the person she marries, then um, you know she's doing herself a disservice. I mean, if your own daughter was going to marry somebody, you would want to know um, who she's interested in, and you're probably going to say something like, um, you know, I want to make sure that, that he's, uh, uh, he's ambitious and um, he's working, or if he's between jobs, he's doing everything he can to get another job, and he's got plans for his employment, and he wants to be a success in the workforce, and he wants to help out his wife. I'm sure that's the type of person you would want your own daughter to marry. I'm sure that's who the Filipina's father wants her to marry. And uh, so she's coming into a relationship with a foreigner, wanting someone to give her a better life. How much better? Depends on, on her husband. Not everybody um, can do what everybody else. I know people that are looking for Filipina wives that are multimillionaires and people that um, are retired. And I don't know how much money they, they have in the bank. They didn't tell me. Um, but just kind of in the back of your mind, just be aware. Filipina is going to want somebody with some money, at least some potential. Now, if he's 65 and broke, that's different than being 25 or 30 and being younger and having skills and having ambition. And you just haven't you know, found that niche yet, that right place to work. And that would be a good person for her to want to marry. Um, this is just, this is just the way it is. Women want someone that can help them financially. And otherwise she's probably going to say, well, I, that's okay. I don't care if you, if you, you know, only have enough money for yourself, I'm going to be going to your country and working, you know, full time anyway, or she's not coming. So if you can't provide for her, then you need to provide her the opportunity to come and um, allow her to work in your country so she can help her family and all of those those plans. I think these are just more or less givens. You might find some exceptions. You might be the exception. I like to hear what people say about this. But here's what I really want to get to. And that is, um, what if for some reason she were to just come right out and say it? Well, yes, you know, the money was the, the most important thing. What do you do? Do you go dial up an attorney? Is it over? Uh, are your feelings hurt so bad that you know now you can't be a husband to her? I mean, in all likelihood, with some exceptions, but in all likelihood, she did marry somebody so she could have a more, you know, prosperous future. That certainly makes sense uh, from a woman's standpoint, no doubt about that. So if she were to tell you that, just say, okay, great. Thanks for letting me know. Now, um, now we've got a marriage to, to work out. I have the responsibility to love you. I have the responsibility to be good to you, to meet your needs. I don't care if you married me for money. Uh, once you're married, that's that's immaterial. You you have responsibilities to each other, and it all comes back to what I've always said: just focus on you being the very best husband you can to this woman who likely married you so she could have a better situation than she would in the Philippines, be glad about that. Don't, don't think that's a bad idea on her part. Just accept it. Accept it and accept that you're, you're married. Don't feel bad about it. 
um, just do the best job you can of loving her, being patient, uh, trying to help her in every any way you can. Uh, don't be selfish. Um, you know, she's still a wife and she's still a companion. I don't think you have a heck of a lot to complain about. And, um, you know, all this just to say that once again, you need to be reminded financial security, that's important to any woman, America, you know, Dominican Republic, Philippines, anywhere in Asia, um, Africa, they want financial security. And um, if you can give that to her, great. If she even says, admits to you somehow, I don't know how that would happen. Yes, I, I only married you for the money. So what? Big deal. Who cares? Um, work on being a good husband that she can follow and wants to stay married to just because, and let's say hypothetically, maybe some of you have heard this. I only married you for the money. Um, so what? You know, now you're married. You know, you have to have uh, com good communication. You have to spend time together. I think if you treat her right, she will stay stay with you. Although I've heard, you know, exceptions, of course. I'm just saying, don't freak out about this money issue that so many people are upset about. You know, like, you know, they feel like they have no chance to find anybody to marry, so they'll go to a place like the Philippines, a poor country, and, and where younger women can marry older men. And then they, they feel bad that they got married because they had money. Well, that just doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, they're foregoing younger guys to be with you. That's a sacrifice for them too. So just don't get bent out of shape about um, why she married you. Um, once you're married, then you have to work out issues and, you know, conflict resolution. Watch videos like this for for help. If you can find any others like this, I think this channel is somewhat unique in in its content. So um, worry less about her motives and worry more about um, how you can best take care of your love beyond the sea.